Shalom, all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechach Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone of GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Atazari from GMS Houston. All right, with a quick lesson, uh, if the Lord says the same, um, this is something that we had brought out on the block that um, the Lord is not going to forsake us. He's not going to just leave us here to drip dry, okay? He put us through this chastisement as a punishment, okay? And he is going to redeem an election, all right, through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, okay? The Lord is not going to forsake us, okay? Because he's sworn by his name, okay? As a matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture. All right. Uh oh. It's locking. This is the book of Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, empty, okay, or, or, or just no value. Okay, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. Okay, so whatever was written in this book, the Most High said it won't return into him void. He promised us salvation, the children of Israel. Okay, through his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, as a matter of fact, since I said that, let me grab another quick scripture. All right. And it's the book of St. Matthew. If I can get there. Right. The first chapter and the 21st verse. It says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people. Who are the Lord's people? The Israelites. Okay. Because as we know from the book of Hebrews, real quick, let's get that. Because the Lord came from a certain tribe himself. Okay. Alright. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. It says, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Okay. Judah is the head tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. The same tribe that our Lord and Savior is from. Alright. He's a Judite. Alright. A so-called Negro, okay, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood, okay, uh, because the priesthood was for the Levites, okay. But uh, let me read this again in St. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people, okay. So if he was a Judite, which is one of the twelve tribes, of Israel and his people are the Israelites. I mean, that's, that's plain and simple. For he shall save his people from their sins. And the only way you can sin, matter of fact, let's grab that. You can prove what's being said. Salakia. This is uh, Second John. I mean, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4, it says, Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Okay? For sin is the transgression of the law. Who was the law given to? The Israelites. Okay? Uh, so let's go back. Because the point is that the Lord is not going to forsake his people. All right. So let's go back and let's get. Uh, what is this? Let me see something. I'm going to bring this scripture out. This is Jeremiah 31 and 37. It says, thus said the Lord, if heaven above can be measured. And the foundations of the earth searched out beneath. 
I will also cast off all the seed of Israel, you see, for all that they have done, said the Lord. Okay, because we transgressed against the Heavenly Father. But the point of me bringing out this scripture is this can't happen. This can't be done. If heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off. So this this can't be done by man. All right. They don't even know what's at the bottom of the ocean. OK. It can't be measured out. OK. Even with all the technology that they have. They can't measure the heavens above, okay? So, by this scripture, what this scripture is saying, that we won't be done away with, okay? Because this can't be done, all right? So, let's get another scripture. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 94. Let me see where it's at. I think it's in... Uh, For, okay, I got it. This is Psalms 94 and verse uh, 14. It says, For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. You see there? He's not going to cast off his people, and he's not going to forsake his inheritance. Okay? We just read that his word won't return into him void. So that being the case, this he's not going to cast us off, okay? And it says his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance, okay? That's the children of Israel, okay? Let's get another scripture. All right, let's go to, oh, they got a precept right here. Let me see what they say. Let me see what this says real quick. Bear with me one second. Uh, let me see if that goes in goes with this lesson. Um, bear with me one second. Let me find it. Yep. This is a uh, first Kings. Um, first Kings six and uh, uh I'll just bring out the point. First Kings uh, six and 13. It says, I will dwell among the children of Israel. See? And will not forsake my people. And there it is again. All right. He won't forsake his people. All right. Now I got a precept right here. Let me see what this say. Okay. Because the, the Bible that I'm using is what is known as a precept Bible. Okay. So let me see what this precept is that they have here. Let me find it again. So lucky I lost my place. Um in the book of Hebrews. I lost it. Let me find it. So lock you. Uh, and it's so small it's hard to see. Okay, I found it. Let's see if this is on point. Um, yeah. Um, matter of fact, yep, I'm going to bring this out. This is Hebrews 13, and I'm going to start at verse uh, 5. It says, let your conversation be without covetousness, all right, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee you okay the lord is never gonna forsake us all right they got a precept right here but uh matter of fact that same precept <laughs> yeah sure is let me uh let me read the, i want to read the next verse too 
Hebrews 13 and 6, it says, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me, okay? Because the Lord ain't going to forsake us. So we should have no fear of man and what man is going to do to us. Like the scripture says, fear not them which can kill your body in hell, roughly paraphrasing, but him that can kill your body and soul in hell, okay? Which is the heavenly father. That's who we should fear, okay? And that fear is what he's looking for because fear produces obedience, okay? Um, it's just like if you have a disobedient child, you're not going to care for that child, okay? Um, I'm going to read this one more time, Hebrews 13 and 6, so, so that ye may boldly say, so we boldly say this through these electronic epistles and out on the block, Okay? That the Lord ain't brought us this far just to leave us hanging, man. Okay? He's going to do just what he said. And that is save the children of Israel. Okay? Um, so let's go back. I didn't even intend for this lesson to be this long, but it wasn't up to me in the first place. Okay? So let's get one more scripture. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter. All right. And if the Lord say the same, we'll end here. 31. Uh, yep. This is uh, Deuteronomy 31 and 6. It says, be strong, okay, and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. You see? Again, we only to have fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Because he controls the minds of them, okay? It says, be strong and of good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, thy power, he is, is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, Okay? The Lord is not going to leave us high and dry with the things that are going on now really should be building our faith. OK. Because we see what he said and it's happening. We're seeing the visions come to pass. OK. Lord willing, this was edifying. And I'm going to give all praise on and glory again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone or GMS. Peace and blessings to the sincere Akim out there, okay, that's doing what thus says Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Even the brothers that, you know, that are sincere, they come and listen, okay, because that's fearing the Lord right there, okay, getting out to the block and coming and getting edified, okay, and um, to the Akwat, the sisters that, you know, may be listening, trying to do what's right peace and blessings unto you also and until the next time i say shallow warm